Got the chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking Plus she good at charming cobras I feel like I'm chosen But she ain't the only one no. Got the chick I call it Katia She be acting bougie Then she came through and tied me up Now she just a groupie So if you guys could so if you guys could so if you guys could subscribe so if you guys could subscribe so if you guys could subscribe and <laughs> wait until first light and then we split up you got to me talking about abortion this my body nigga so don't think you finna force it see I knew that this is how you act so typical said you love me oh but now you flipping like reciprocal Hey all my YouTube subscribers, welcome back to my channel and I know we just got done with Thanksgiving so now you already know what time it is. Now it's time to get into the holiday season, Christmas, ah! <laughs> November 26th equals Christmas, basically. So this tutorial is going to be a wintry, Christmassy, holiday, icy makeup tutorial. So first off, I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to take this really pale pink from the Morphe 35N palette. And I'm just going to sweep this all across my crease. Then I'm just going to take the color Cupcake by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to place it in my crease as well. The next color I'm going to use is called Vibrant Plum. It's by Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to add this into my crease to make it a lot deeper. And if you want to know what kind of brushes or anything I'm using, everything will be listed down below in the description box. Then I'm going to go back in with that pale pink color we started with, just to buff out and blend all those harsh lines. Alright, now it's time for my favorite part. We're going to do the cut crease. I'm going to take a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the color Natural. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand and take a very, very small brush. And then I'm just going to start drawing my cut crease. And a cut crease is basically just overdrawing your eyelid. Then I'm just going to set this concealer with this other more vibrant pale pink. Also in the 35N Morphe palette. And because I use the concealer, it's so much easier to just like wipe away the excess color that's not supposed to be there. Then I'm going to go in with the color Chocolatier by Coastal Scents. And this is really just going to bring out the cut crease. And just play with it and try to get it to how you want it. And to get that real sharp look, I'm going to take a Q-tip and my makeup remover wipe and I'm just going to line it up real quick.
Then I'm going to take some glitter liner and I'm just going to go exactly right on the line of the cut crease. And when you're done, girl, I'm trying to tell you right now, let this dry because if you mess it up, girl, you're going to be so mad. And I wanted this to be a more frosty look, so I took the color Mai Tai by Coastal Sense and I just placed it over that pink all over my lid. Then I'm just going to add a little eyeliner and I'm going to wing this out and I'm going to connect my wing to my glitter liner. I'm going to smoke out this look by adding chocolatier right under my lower lash line. And I've already applied my lashes, but now I'm going to take my Spider Effect Mascara by Maybelline. And this girl, <laughs> this mascara is the bomb. Now taking my Ofra highlighter palette in the color Beverly Hills, I'm going to take the brightest color and I'm just going to put it in my tear duct and on my brow bone. Now it's time for the face. I'm going to start by taking a makeup remover wipe and just cleaning my face just in case I had any fallout from my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation with the dewy finish and this is in the color 310 Sun Beige. And I honestly feel like this is the only foundation that just like does not look cakey. Like this shit looks so good. Then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to buff it all out. And I don't know why, I just never put foundation on my forehead. So what I do is I just take it up from the rest of my face. I got my freaking primer. It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna use this contour palette I got from my local beauty supply store, and I'm gonna take this third shade and I'm just gonna sweep it across my temples. And to carve out my cheekbones, I'm gonna take that same color as well as the darkest color in the palette, and I'm just gonna chisel out them cheekbones, Amy. 
and I always try to go for a natural contour so after I'm finished with my powder I'll always go over it with a damp beauty blender and it'll make it look as natural as possible trust me And just to make my face look a little slimmer, I'm just going to take the darkest color in that palette and take it across my jawbone and bring it down my neck. And I take the second brightest color in this palette and I'm just going to set the rest of my foundation with this. And now it's time to glow all day, honey. So I'm going to take this highlighter by ColourPop in the color Lunch Money. And I love applying this highlighter with a small sponge. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, my chin, the bridge of my nose, and the tip of my nose a little bit. I'm going to take my Ofra highlighter palette in the color Beverly Hills and I'm going to take this rose gold and champagne color and just put that on my cheekbones. And the tip of my nose highlight is the best freaking part. I take the brightest color and I just stick my nose in it. I know this is weird, but it works. And I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to pat it out. And it's just going to give me like the best result ever. And then once I'm all patted out and glowing like fuck, I'm going to go over it again with my fan brush. And don't forget to hit that Cupid's bow. Then I'm just going to go in with the color Embellishment. And this is by NYX in their lingerie line. And I love this color. It's like a purple with gray undertone. It is so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't mind if you share this video. Please share it on Facebook or, you know, wherever. Twitter, that's fine with me too, honey. But thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I love seeing my subscribers go up. I'm not at 100 yet, but I plan to be hopefully by the end of this year. I know it's a very small number, but I'm cool with it. I'm doing it for me. I love doing my makeup, and eventually... I want to start doing more things. I want to start seeing myself evolve. So if you guys could subscribe and become part of my journey with me, that would be amazing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, honeys.